once again, I just want you to lift up your voice in appreciation for the gift of life. We slept yesterday night. We woke up this morning, not by power, not by might, but the Almighty God woke us up this morning. Why not lift up your voice and tell Him, Lord, I am grateful? Ah, let the Almighty God know that you are grateful. Ah, Daddy, I am grateful. Ah, because not all that slept last night we are able to wake up this morning. Baba, I am grateful ah, that I return all the glory to you and return all honor, all praise and adoration to you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. In Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. I want you to cry to God and say, my Father, my God, uh, my father and uh, my God. Ah, uh, it is by your mercies that I am not consumed. It is by your mercies that my loved ones are not consumed. Ah, uh, therefore, oh Lord. Ah, uh, thank you for your mercies. And show me it mercy again. I cry to the Almighty God. The Bible says that it's not of he that will it, nor he that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. That they thank you for your mercies, O God. Thank you, Baba, for your mercies. Thank you, O God. Thank you, O God, for your mercy that prevailed over judgment. Thank you, Baba, for frustrating. Ah, Lord, the accusation of the wicked by reason of your mercy in my life. Thank you, Baba, for your mercies upon your church. Thank you for your mercies upon your people. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, everlasting Father. Glory be to your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. Ah, that amen is not loud and clear. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I decree the name that is above every other name. Ah, that the mercies of God will not depart from our tabernacle. In the mighty name of Jesus, on a daily basis, the mercies of God will speak for us. Ah, it does not matter what the accusation of the enemies are. Ah, mercy will speak for us in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, I want you to cry to God and say, Father, Father, I plead your blood. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my spirit, upon my soul, upon my body. I let the blood, let the blood prevail for me this morning. Let the blood frustrate tokens of liars over my life this morning. Let the blood work wonders for me this morning. Let the blood erase every gain my enemies have made in the mighty name of Jesus. Cry to the Almighty God that his blood will work wonders. The Bible says that the blood of Jesus will get better things than the blood of ever. Cry to the Almighty God this morning that let the blood speak goodness into your life this morning. Let the blood speak beauty into your life this morning. Let the blood speak prosperity. Let the blood calm storms of wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus. Zakando Mahande Moth Ile Halaya Rekapa. Daddy, we plead the blood. We plead the blood all over the church this morning. We plead the blood upon our home, upon all our properties. We plead the blood. Let the power in the blood work wonders for us. Lekando Moth Ile Handa Moth Ilaya Rokonda Dakoske Ile Handa Moth Ilaya Rakapa thank you everlasting father for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed in Jesus mighty name we have prayed 
Ah, the Bible says that when they see the blood, ah, they will see the blood over you this morning. Ah, the Bible says when they see the blood, they will pass over. Ah, it does not matter what they have planned concerning you this morning. Ah, they will see the blood. Ah, they will see the blood and they will pass over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 16. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 16. It says, And the Lord their God shall save them in that day. Ah, I don't know which day the Almighty God is talking about. Ah, for me it is today. And the Lord their God shall save them in that day as a flock of his people. For they shall be as stones of a crown, lifted up as an ensign upon his hand. I want you to lift up your voice and cry to God and say, Father, ah, let today be my day of deliverance. Ah, let today be my day. Ah, let today be my day. I don't know what you desire. I don't know what you know you have been asking for, but cry to the Almighty God. Let today be your day. Ah, a day came, and that day was the day of blind Bartimaeus, and that was why when he cried, he was answered. Ah, let today be my day, oh God, that as I cry unto you, I will receive answers. That as I cry unto you, Baba, you will arise for my deliverance. Cry to the Almighty God, Father, make today my day. Ah, kapanto kosila alaya. Ah, ask the Almighty God to make make this day your day ah lakande mazila halaya your day of settlement ah your day of promotion ah your day of a new beginning your day of a new glory cry to the almighty god father make this day my day kakoma kande mofili halaya rekoma shanda rimahanda kaya lepa kapasila halaya for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed let them please I want to play with, with us please pray please pray every day holds great things but it, it depends on whom God says that day is that he will receive the man that was paralyzed at the pool of Bethsaida he was there for 38 days 38 years but a day came that day was his day. He did not even call unto God. But because it was his day, he received a visitation. And there is something that surprised me. He was not the only one that was there. But he was the only one that it was recorded that he received his miracle. And Jesus went by. You are going to cry again and say, Father, it does not matter how the outlook of today may be like. Ah, it does not matter how I woke up this morning from the bed. Father, let today be my day. Command this day to be my day. Ah, let favor locate me today. Ah, let blessings locate me today. Let today be my day. Ah, Kalima hand a most ill. Ah, ah, daddy, let today be my day. Oh God, let me be remembered. Ah, a day in the life of Mordecai. Ah, that day was his day. And the king could not sleep. Because it was Mordecai's day, the king could not sleep. As many that must bless you today, ah, the Almighty God will trouble them. Ah, because today is your day. Ah, cry to the Almighty God. Let today be my day. Lord, make today my day. Make today my day. Make today my day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rakush and the most in the Mahandro Koskila. Lipale Kande Masil Ahandaya. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For they shall be as stones of a crown, lifted up as an ensign upon his land. Brethren, when the Bible says that they shall be as stones of a crown, when you see a crown, a crown, and then you see they use stones, you know, precious stones, 
to garnish, to bring out the beauty of the crown. Meaning that when you see a crown, the stones on the crown usually define that crown. If today is your day, the Almighty God is going to place some stones upon you to beautify your life. Ah, you are going to cry to God and say, Father, ah, Father, ah, because today is my day of beauty. Ah, Lord, all the stones that must be upon my life. Uh, brother, there are some things that God must do for you to defy, uh, to publicize your life. Uh, there are some blessings that God must release uh, for your joy to be full. Cry to God and say, Father, uh, the stones that must beautify my life, uh, Lord, place them on me. Uh, stones, precious stones, cry to the Almighty God. There are some precious things that God must do today that will set you apart. Ah, that will set you apart. When men look at you, ah, they will see the glory. Why? The stones ah, that God has placed upon you. Ah, that is that stone ah, that you must place upon me ah, for my glory to shine. Ah, for my glory to be revealed. Ah, Lord, place those stones on me because today is my day. Cry to the Almighty God. Person, uh, uh, that they place the stones, uh, your stones of glory uh, upon my life. Mama Conte Fasila Halaya, Rokonda Mavile Hanna Mothilaya, Tasokapa. Thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, stones they defy in glory. Stones. When I say stones, I mean precious stones. Precious stones. You know, they defy in glory. When you see a diamond, you see a gold. I say, ah, look at this gold. When you see diamond, it is glittery. You see, you know, different types of precious stones. You know, and when you see each one you see, talk, speaks volume in its own rank. You know, each one you see, you know, when you see a man wearing a diamond, a, a golden a crown, I say, ah, this one look nice. When you see a diamond crown, ah, you say, ah, I prefer this one. Ah, I decree the name that is above every other name. Ah, that the Almighty God will decorate you ah, with stones of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, that which will make your life precious. Ah, the Almighty God will decorate you with it in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, that will that which will define you. Ah, that which would define you for glory. Ah, the Almighty God will decorate you with it in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, that which will erase shame in your life. Ah, the Almighty God will decorate you with it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Lift them up as an ensign upon his land. What is an ensign? An ensign is a mark, you know, a distinguishing mark. You know that when you see it, when you see it, it tells you that this is a rank or this is a level. An ensign can be as a level, a rank. Praise the Lord. I decree the name that is above every other name. Ah, the Almighty God will take you to your next level. Ah, those that have met you, those that saw you ah, before now in the level you used to be, when they see you again, ah, they will know that God has taken you higher in the mighty name of Jesus. Cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, change my level this morning. Ah, change my rank this morning. Ah, that all that will see me, ah, will see me lifted up, lifted high. Ask that the Almighty God will change your level. He will move you from darkness to light. Ah, he will move you from hatred to love. He will move you from rejection to acceptance. He will move you ah, from where you used to be. Ah, where you used to be. From ashes to beauty. He will change your situation. Ah, from sickness to wholeness. Ah, the Almighty God will lift you. Cry to Him this morning. Thank you, everlasting Father. Oh, glory be to your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. 
Ah, Daddy, once again, we say thank you. Ah, Daddy, thank you, Lord, because we know that as we have spoken into your ears, so will you do. Ah, Daddy, consigning every decree, every prayer, Lord, that we have offered unto you this morning, that they make haste to answer them in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Daddy, for your name's sake, ah, that the answer that the joy of your people will be full. Ah, thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's lift up our hands as we take our declaration for this morning. All the glory must be to the Lord God Almighty. He is the King of glory and the Lord of lords. The Lord God is mighty and he does mighty things from generation to generation. His praises and adoration shall never cease from my mouth all the days of my life. I will forever declare his glory and worship him. I declare and I confess concerning me and my household that the Lord God Almighty shall save us as the flock of his people no matter what may be happening all over the world we are fully secured and protected and shall never be victim of any evil arrows or any waster created to destroy in the mighty name of jesus i declare and i confess that i shall be like the stones of the crown i shall shine forth i shall not be hidden i shall not be in obscurity I shall be precious and highly valuable all the days of my life. I shall be treated with honor and I shall be above only. I declare and I proclaim that I shall be lifted up as an ensign in my generation. The Lord will establish me at the top and I will never experience downward trend all the days of my life the lord will perform great wonders through me for the rest of my life i will finish well i will finish strong my ending shall be far better than my beginning i will not go to hell i will reign in eternity i will love the lord and i will serve the lord all the days of my life in the mighty name of jesus Let's go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost. Zando Kamas in Oh, go ahead, go ahead, pray in the Holy Ghost. Zalibos in Ermahande Kostilaya. Oh, Malipa Kandu Majiana Handaya. Lipa Kanda Mask in Ahad Eposhilaya. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have decreed. I pray in the name that is above every earth and aim that every iota of our declaration this morning ah, that the almighty God will answer in the mighty name of Jesus ah, that as we have spoken into his ears ah, he will do in the mighty name of Jesus ah, powers that say no ah, powers that resist our declaration ah, as they arise to attempt to resist that which you have declared this morning and uh, let the almighty God strike them to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus uh, this day you will eat the fruit of your declaration in the mighty name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son in the name of God the Holy Spirit and amen praise the Lord let's put our hands together as we celebrate Jesus as we celebrate Jesus as we celebrate Jesus as we celebrate Jesus this morning, uh, let someone rejoice because today is his day, today is her day. Uh, let your rejoicing be more than that of your neighbor. Uh, let your neighbor know that today is your day. Today is your day. That you are the celebrant. You are the celebrant. Uh, you are the one celebrating today. Uh, that they will give you all the glory. Praise the Lord. Let's be seated in his presence. We are all welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. I appreciate the almighty God for this privilege to stand before us and to bring his word to us. I pray that every word 
that will proceed out of my lips will be a blessing to us in the mighty name of Jesus. I also bring us greetings from my Father in the Lord, which I appreciate, you know, the privilege of um, him allowing me to stand here this morning. I bring greetings from him, you know, he's unavoidably absent, and I pray for him wherever he is, the hand of the Lord will be upon him. In the mighty name of Jesus, and the Almighty God will continually lift him up as an ensign. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want to appreciate mommy and all the minister. God bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. I also appreciate each and every one of us. Praise the Lord. The topic this morning, today is Wednesday. Today is meant to be a deliverance session. So we'll see how God will help us. Praise the Lord. So let's turn our Bibles to the book of Isaiah chapter 61. Isaiah chapter 61, that's the text for the, for the month. Isaiah 61, we read from verse 1 to 3. Engineers, please, if you can help me so that I can maximize the time I have. Praise the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, and to give unto them beautiful ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the garment of praise. Praise the Lord. The spirit, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Ah, I decree in the name that is above every other name. Ah, that the Almighty God will be glorified in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, one of the major reasons why God is in the business of turning beauty, turning ashes to beauty, is because he wants his name to be glorified. That is one of the reasons for his name's sake. Because each time he does that, he is always glorified. His father is always glorified. Praise the Lord. I want us to understand that when we talk of beauty, you know, and ashes, beauty can represent light. Why ashes represents darkness. And I want us to also know that the father of all darkness is the devil. Praise the Lord. Meaning that in him, there is no light. In him, all you can find is ashes. And that is why anyone that goes into any dealing with him always comes out with darkness, praise the Lord. But thanks be to God because we have a God that has a solution for darkness. And that is why I know that every darkness in your life this morning, the Almighty God will minister to them. Ah, he will speak to that darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I also want you to know that anything that does not glorify God in our lives is a type of darkness and as such they must give room for light praise the lord in genesis chapter one in genesis chapter one we read from verse one to four genesis chapter one from verse one to four god at the point of creation god had a challenge in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth two and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water when God was creating when God was creating the heavens and the earth a challenge came and that challenge was a challenge of darkness and God had to address darkness before God could proceed, you know, continue in the creation. And that is why I know because uh, you have not yet gotten to your goal, God will address every darkness in your life this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Verse 4. Verse 4. Genesis 1, 4. And God saw the light that it was good 
and God divided the light from darkness. Brethren, when we say from beauty to ashes, it means that, you know, right from beginning, the same way God wants to divide light from darkness, he also wants to fulfill it in your life, meaning that as a child of light, because he is the light himself, he is the light himself, and as a child of light, darkness should be separated from your life. He created light, and he saw that light was what? Good. Good. And he separated darkness from I want us to be upstanding. Praise the Lord. For God to separate light from darkness, it means that a man may be experiencing light, but there is still some atom of darkness still intruding, still obstructing the light. But this morning, the Almighty God is going to separate <laughs> completely darkness from light in your life. I want you to cry to the Almighty God and say, My Father and my God, uh, my Father and my God, uh, in any way, uh, darkness is having expression in my life. Uh, Lord, separate my life from darkness. Uh, Lord, I am the light of the world. Separate my life from darkness. Cry to the Almighty God. Let there be a separation this morning. Ah, Kasile Handambahandaya. Ah, let there be a separation. Ah, sickness ah, is a type of darkness. Let there be a separation this morning. Ah, poverty is a type of darkness. Let there be a separation. Ah, whatsoever that does not glorify God is a type of darkness. Ask the Almighty God to separate you from darkness. Lord, let there be a separation. Let there be a separation this morning. Ah, move me. In any way my life has been entangled. In any way my light has been entangled with darkness. Let there be a separation this morning. Let there be a separation. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Ah, the Almighty God will separate you from darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus. When you read the book of John chapter 1, from verse 1 to 4, we can be seated. John chapter 1 from verse 1 to 4. I want you to catch this revelation so that you will know who you are. And when darkness is trying to intrude into your space, you can speak to darkness just like God spoke to darkness. Praise the Lord. John chapter 1 verse 1. Yeneas, are you with us? John chapter 1 verse 1 from verse 1 to 4. Praise the Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. For in Him was life, and the life was the light of man. In Him was life. Meaning that the day you surrendered to him and he came into you to abode and abide, light has come. And the Bible says, because in him, the life he has given to you is now a light. Meaning that darkness, he did not give you, the life he has given to you is not darkness, but light. Meaning that each time you see anything in the similitude of darkness, you can arise and cry to him. You can arise and command darkness to go. And they will go in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Bible says, and the light which he has made you, which he has made me, the light shineth in darkness. It is a light that shines. It does not matter what they are bringing at you. It shines. It is a light that is distinguishing. It is a light that is beautiful. A light that you cannot mistake for darkness. The light.
light shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not, meaning that darkness could not even understand ah, that this one has been in darkness, this one has been with me. How come? I decree in the name that is above every other name. Ah, from today your life will become a wonder. Ah, powers that have been resisting you before now. Ah, when they see you the next time, they will begin to roar. Ah, why? Because they will be unable to comprehend you. Ah, they will be unable to understand you. In the mighty name of Jesus. When you, let me see that, when you read Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52, talking about blind Bartimaeus. That was a man that was in darkness. Physically, he was in darkness. But a day came, just like today. And the Almighty God moved him from darkness to light. And his story changed. There is something about light. There is something about beauty. The day you are decorated is the day you will be celebrated. Ah, there is something about light. The day you begin to see, you will change position. Ah, because where you may have been staying may not be okay. Because you will discover a lot of things that will make you to move forward. There is something about light. Any man that receives light becomes a center of attraction. And that is why I know that because you will receive light this morning, ah, you will be celebrated in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, the same people that we are that have looked at blind Bartimaeus and they have concluded on him. There's what I call evil conclusion. They looked at him. They looked at him and they said, This one, no be beggar. This one, yes, he has all the regalia of a beggar. And that this one, uh, when people will get eye, they pursue Jesus. You will be beggar. You still want to talk. Praise the Lord. And they were asking him to keep quiet, meaning that they have concluded consigning him that this one, his place is there. His place is begging. But there is a God. There is a God that can move a man from point zero to the top. There is a God that prides. He prides because uh, it is him that will take the glory. He prides in moving a man from the dust to the palace. And he looked at even with the people with their noise telling the blind man to keep quiet. The Bible said that he, star, he stood still and he called him and the same people we are now saying ah, 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 because the light has shined on him Jesus is the light John chapter 5 John chapter 9 the light has shined on him he became a center of attraction and the same people that we are telling him keep quiet we are not telling him be of good cheer he calleth you ah, those that have been looking down on you ah, they will be the one they will be the one announcing your promotion ah, in the mighty name of Jesus ah, those that have looked at you and say ah, is there any good thing that can come out of Nazareth Ah, they will be the one telling people, have you seen? Ah, have you seen? In the mighty name of Jesus. His life was transformed and he never remained the same. Because of our time and because we need to pray, let me just say some things. You know, when we say beautiful ashes is a statement of hope. I've just put down before. There's no hope. Meaning that even the man before Jesus was passing by, blind Bartimaeus had no hope. That anything that he will move from darkness to light, but suddenly he heard Jesus was passing by. Uh, your own miracle will happen suddenly in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, when we talk of beauty to ashes, it's also a statement of transformation. Anyone that experiences beauty for ashes, it means that a transformation has taken place. It means that those that know you in a particular condition, when they come back, they will ask you, how did it happen? Uh, I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. But I have a strong feeling that someone is moving forward. Uh, someone is changing position in the mighty name of Jesus. You, there's something for you to learn from the blind man. They were talking him down. He refused. Eh? Their voices were more than his own. He had just one voice. Multitude of voices were asking him, keep quiet. 
But because he wanted his joy to be full, he did not allow their voices to affect him. I don't know who I'm talking to. Maybe voices, some people's voices have been affecting your progress. They have not allowed you. Uh, they have not allowed you to receive your miracle. But uh, let your gaze be on Jesus until you receive your miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I know you will receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Beautiful ashes is a statement of lifting. Lifting. God does not meet you where you are and leave you there. When he meets you at a low position, you are going higher. When he meets you up there, he's either taking you higher or he's sustaining you there. That is why I know that someone must change level in the mighty name of Jesus. When you read the book of Genesis chapter 9, 1 to 23, talking about Joseph, talking about Joseph, when God changed his ashes to beauty, he did not remain in the prison. He did not remain a slave boy. Those that were not in captivity, he became higher than they are. He was more celebrated than his own brethren that were with their father because those ones hunger was tormenting them. Praise the Lord. I decree once again in the name that is above every other name ah, that a time will come ah, when those, those ah, asking you where is your God, ah, they will not sit until your coronation is over in the mighty name of Jesus beautiful ashes is a statement of victory a statement of victory maybe they have looked at you and they see and you think that maybe you are losing but I declare to you this morning uh, that it is not the one that starts the race. <laughs> you know, it is not always, the race is not to the swift. <laughs> uh, neither battle to men of strength, <laughs> but time and chance happen to them all. Meaning that the almighty God will cause time and chance to work for you. Uh, and you will emerge victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, let me upstand there because we are going to pray one prayer because of our time. Before, because of our time. The three Hebrew boys in Daniel chapter 3, verse 1 to 30. When you read their story, when you read their story, their story is that of men that you will pity. Praise the Lord. Because these men, you know, in our own time, you say, ah, these men are stubborn. Why not bow to the king? Then you go back and you renounce what you have done. You know, praise the Lord. But these men, they stood true to their belief. These were men that despite all on, everybody was bowing, bowing to the king. They know the consequences of not bowing to that image but they still stood their ground. And when you look at their story, you know, God did not appear. When, if you are reading like a baby, you will think, ah, God will appear when they stood for God. God will appear before, you know, the guards come to hold them. But God did not appear then. They, they came, they heard them. They took them into the fire. Uh, before God now appeared. I pray in the name that is above every other day. Maybe you are here and you are thinking that, ah, it is late. It is never late with God. It is never late with God. Ah, God will not be late concerning that issue for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, even where men may think that God is late, God can reverse, he can turn the hand of the claw, ah, meaning that he can grant you restoration. Ah, in the mighty name of Jesus, I therefore decree that for every trouble you have experienced, uh, let the almighty God grant you double honor uh, as compensation in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, cry to the almighty God again and say, Father, let your light shine. Let your light shine all over my life, my business, my career. Let your light shine all over me. Uh, when the light comes, when the light comes, uh, beauty is certain. When the light comes, let your light shine, Lord. Shine over my situation. Let your light shine. Let your light shine. Let your light shine. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want us to lift up our offering. When you read the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, 
Praise the Lord. God was saying that he took, he became poor so that we will be rich. He took our ashes. He took the ashes so that we can have the beauty. We are going to cry to the almighty God and say, my father, my God, in accordance to your word, you took my poverty that I may be rich. That here, as I give unto you this token, let that covenant, that promise, let it be activated now. Let it be activated. Lord, if I venture there are any ashes in my finances, ah, that be eradicate them, Lord. Because, Lord, you have taken them away. Let it be permanent in the name of Jesus. That they take away every ashes in my finances. I got, ah, Baba, for poverty, give me riches. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's give, let's give cheerfully and the almighty God will bless us. Praise the Lord. Let's not forget that later today, there will be house fellowship in, all our, in some of our house fellowship centers that hold their meetings on Wednesday. And as you attend, the almighty God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, good morning, Holy Spirit continues tomorrow morning. And I pray that as you come tomorrow, tomorrow will also be your day in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's share the, fel let's share the grace in fellowship, the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, which from the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please let's take notes that overcomers night. There will be a overcomers night on Friday by eleven PM.